Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here, and let us continue with the today's GFG Purity Street. And I hope you all had a great Diwali. Let us continue back on our journey. Today's question name: shortest common sub super sequence. Okay. So what uh, it is saying that we have to find x and y of length m. Uh, given two strings of length m and n, we need to find the smallest string which has both x and y, and it's a sub sequence. Okay. X and Y both have uppercase and lowercase letters. So for A B C D X Y C D, this is the given output. Hey, this question को शुरू करने से पहले यार, I would say something. कि if you are follow, if you are following me from maybe uh, 30 to 40 days past, so we have done a question of longest common subsequence, which is also present in the DP playlist of uh, the video four, right? So I suggest like if you are not able to solve this question, you didn't get a slight clue. कि इसे कैसे करना है देन आई विल हाईली सजेस्ट यू दैट यू फर्स्ट गो ऑन विजिट दिस वीडियो लॉन्गेस्ट कॉमन सब सीक्वेंस राइट दिस वन एंड देन कम बैक अगेन टू दिस क्वेश्चन विजुअलाइजिंग दैट यू हैव एनीथिंग टू से ना क्या आप अगर आप कुछ सोच पा रहे हो कि नहीं एंड दैट इज वाई कीप ऑन सेइंग एट दैट दो स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन लेट्स एन ई एस डी शीट लाइक जी एफ जी एस डी शीट दैट स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन नीड टू बी कवर्ड वन सी बिकॉज दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दिस टाइप ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन वुड बी प्रेजेंट इन दैट शीट एंड The question you will be getting in your interview and in the let's say an online lesson would be like this: the variation of the standard one, right? So if you if you have if you know like what is what is the need of addition, then I'll give you two plus two or I'll give you hundred plus hundred. You will do it, right? So that's what I'm saying. This is the fundamental. These are the standard questions you need to remember in your mind. You need to revise it, right? Okay. So go ahead and watch this video and come back again to this video and then we can resume. ठीक है. I hope you were able to understand what the longest common subsequence means, and it's three variations I have mentioned as well. Let us continue with the today's question again. So, we need to find a string, right? We need to find a string which has both x and y and its subsequences, right? That means if I, I need to have both the strings, right? So let's just just let's just add the given both string. So a b c d x y and c d. Right, I can say that this is one of my possible answer, and the length is m plus n, which is nothing but eight, right? But I, it is also saying that you can, uh, what it is, the uh, where it is, the common subsequence part where it is written, mm, yep, and its subsequence, right? So that means if a particular subsequence is repeated, you can take it common and omit once. right you do not have to write it multiple times as it is presented right so you can clearly see the c and d have been twice here kyunki one c and d is present in the string a b c d and another c d is present in x y c d so can i say can i remove this c d can i remove this c d and i can say a b c d and x y right so again you how how you will check that you have form an answer you will check that if your first string that is a b c d yep i have got that string so uh, the half part of answer is correct now the string is x y c d so i have x y but i don't have the c d right ab unse keh sakte ho ki piche to hai na c d like we have a c d behind x and y then why are we bothered about c d coming after x and y because jo question mein order given hai wahi order mein hame answer chahiye the order of the characters present in the string i want the same order in my answer because it is a sub sequence and not a sub string sub sequence has to maintain the order right i hope you got the uh, clearance so this is this is not the possible answer right so can i remove this cd one now so i can clearly see that a b x y c and d now the a b c d let us resume again a b c d so we have a b and then we have c d okay the order is maintained right x y c d so again we have x y and then we have cd again the order is maintained so no problem so what is the length here it is 6 the 6 is answer right similarly let us do a drawing for second example as well and then we will try to observe that can we do something regarding this longest common sub sequence again yep not again so we have another sub string as e f g h and the another has g uh, j g h i right so one of the possible answers we need both the strings so let's just club both the strings Now, what is the common subsequence? I can see the G H and G H is common here, right? That means I can remove one of them. So let us resume that. Uh, assume that we have removed this one. So I have the answer E F G G J G H I. So uh, do I have 
all the strings in my answer present. So EF GH, I have EF, I have GH, great. Now another string is JGHI, so I have JGHI, the order is also maintained. So this is one of my answer. First of all, this was one of my answer, the length was again 8 and here the length is 6, right? Now can I remove this one? Can I remove this GH? Now you have to, uh, you have to tell me can I remove it or not. Okay, so do dry run it, pause this video here. So you cannot remove it. The reason, reason being the same, the order would be uh, changed, right? The same reason as we have not taken this uh, possible answer, right? So in the whole observation, what is the observation? What is the observation? Can't you see that we are actually finding the LCS of X and Y, right? And then we are omitting it in which string? In the total length. So I will just say M plus N minus LCS of X and Y, right? So let us do a one dry run again for the same test case so that you can visualize it even more properly. So what is the, this is the string one, this is in string two. What is the longest common subsequence? definitely CD right now if you're not able to again get what is CD why is CD coming long as LCS in the starting of the video itself I have told you do go through this video right and because I'll be using the same code I have present in my DSA repository I'll not explain you here again right because I've already made this video let's not do the redundant task if it is uh, if it is new to you then again go go back watch the video and come back again okay so CD, so what is the length of total string? It is M plus N, that is 8, minus the length of CD2, 6, and you get the answer. And this is what we are actually doing. We are doing M plus 1, we are forming the one the possible answer which has the maximum characters in it, and then we saw that what are the common subsequence and we omit it, removed it, right? Okay, I hope you are on the good track. So let us go to my DSA repository and search for longest common and you'll have uh, one folder. And you have the code in Java and C++ here. So let me go to the Java first. So what I will do, I will just copy this code. I will paste it here. So this, this is the benefit of maintaining your source code repository. You don't have to do redundant tasks again, 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 and again. Okay, so that's done. What I need to say is that you return M plus N minus LCSO. Uh, the parameters are string 1 and 2 length and then the uh, first string and the second string and that's it let's compile and run so how many uh, okay great let's just hit the sign button so what is the time and space complexity Th the same that we are uh, we will we were using it for LCS so you can clearly see that there is an M cross N as time and since you're using m cross n as for the dpr so it is the space complexity given here as well right uh, let us do the constraint analysis as well so x and y both goes to length as 100 and we are using length of x into length of y so 100 star 100 will give you 10 power 4 which is definitely less than 10 power 8 and that is why we, we got our code submitted okay so we have done this question let us switch back to c plus plus code uh why is the c plus plus so let us do the same thing we have done for the java so meanwhile i'm doing that i want to just say that uh, do not skip the standard questions right once you have that standard questions in your mind then it is very easy to solve its variation and that is what is going to be asked to you now uh, most times in the interviews okay let me look at it Okay, so let's just copy paste the code here, compile and run and then we'll hit the submit button. And that's it, we are done for this video. We are done for this video, we already discussed the time and space complexity. So do watch this video, do not skip it and I have made, uh, once we are doing covering all the questions of the PU3D, so if that's the standard one then I am also maintaining the same question in the playlist as well. So here in the DP you can see there are now 16 videos and this 17 would be coming, so you can refer this DP playlist for this. Uh, for your study great that's been submitted let us end this video here let us meet again in the tomorrow's week till then keep learning keep going goodbye and take care guys